email account data, your photos, even GPS data so you can physically be tracked. And there's a warning to professional users as well. They should avoid running untrusted applications, researchers say, especially if they are required by law to protect data confidentiality. This includes bankers, attorneys, medical staffers, law enforcement, and corporate legal departments. Now, the trouble here, say researchers, is that this isn't merely about lack security for app approval, but a design flaw that allows this kind of software into apps to begin with. Apple didn't return emails and phone calls today, but as this topic gains interest and if it becomes a competitive differentiator with other smartphone makers and their online app stores, it's very likely Apple will have to start to address this publicly. And Aaron, so far, they just haven't. Back to you. Thank you very much, Jim Goldman. So let's find out more about what this means and what the risks really are uh, to iPhone users and also as a broader cybersecurity question for the country. Michael Gregg joins us, cybersecurity consultant. Michael, I hear you are a certified ethical hacker. Uh, please explain <laughs> what that means. I mean, does that mean you are certified <laughs> to break the law? And what does the word ethical getting thrown in here mean? <laughs> uh, thank you very much for having me today. And thank you for putting the word ethical in there. Actually, my company, Superior Solutions, Inc., what we do is we do security assessments for firms. So uh, we actually, with a firm's or company's permission, we actually take and hack or attack or look at their security perimeter and their defenses in the same way that an attacker would. Okay, so, so in other words, you, you can kind of go in and, and, and try to attack it, then they would know how it gets done, then you could hypothetically protect against it. So what, what, what is the real risk here when Jim Goldman was giving that report on this, this smartphone attack app? Uh, how big of a problem is this? This is actually a pretty big problem because the, the real issue here is any time that a proof of concept comes out and a proof of concept is released, it shows to the general uh, hacking community, and this is not only ethical hackers but the malicious individuals, how these attacks could actually take place. Uh, if we take and we look at this into perspective, we can see in the uh, 1980s when the concept of a computer virus came out, at first it was just a concept, but within literally months, we started seeing an entire flood of computer viruses. So the same thing here, we see a proof of concept release, mm -hmm. and from that now, developers that are want to act maliciously could actually start to develop here malicious applications based on this knowledge. So is this something that could also then threaten corporate America? I mean, iPhones obviously are still primarily for personal use, but it sounds like what you're talking about uh, would be much, much broader than that. Yes, most definitely. This is really here could focus on two areas, on consumers but also corporate America because an attacker could take and do several things with this. One, if I was a spammer, maybe I release a free game that you download mm -hmm. and then when you play the game, it takes and extracts all your email addresses and actually pulls those out and then sends okay. those back to the attacker for them to spam your friends. All right, Michael. Uh, maybe I'm... Sorry, yes. I, I've got to um, leave it there. We have some breaking news, but I appreciate your taking the time. Michael Gregg uh, with us there, and we do have some breaking news now from Ben Bernanke. Uh, Steve Leisman? Yes, Aaron, after one of the most controversial fights over Fed Chairman in history, Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke was sworn in this afternoon for a second term at 2 p.m. Uh, Don Cohn, the vice chairman, swore him in with hundreds of Fed staffers, we're told, in attendance. Bernanke thanked President Obama for the confidence shown in renominating him. These are remarks that he made to the Federal Reserve staff. The crisis, he said, has shown the Fed, quote, at its finest. He said the Fed faces still from here, though, enormous challenges. The resumption.